Hello guys. Welcome to the Science Tutor YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In this video, I am going to talk about how to write chemical formulas of an ionic compounds by using the crisscross method. The crisscross method is really useful to write formulas of ionic compounds. For that, we can use four simple steps. In the first step, write the correct symbol of the cation first and the anion second. In the second step, write the charges of cations and anions. Third step, switch the charge numbers and write as a subscript. Fourth step, simplify to the lowest possible ratio and omit one. Let's consider the example of sodium chloride. Here, the name of the ionic compound is sodium chloride. In order to write the chemical formula, we should go through the steps, right? The first step is write the correct symbol of cation first and the anion second. As we know, cations means the positive ions and anion means the negative ions. Usually in an ionic compound, cation is metal and anion is non-metal. Let's look at our ionic compounds. In our compound, positive ion, which means the cation is sodium. So, the symbol is Na. And the negative ion, which is called anion, is chloride. So, the symbol is Cl. Our second step is write the charges of cations and anions. So, we should recognize the charges of cations and anions. For that, we can use the periodic table because both sodium and chlorine, chlorines are simple ions. Let's look at uh, this periodic table. By looking at the periodic table, we can identify the charges of simple ions. These are the charges of uh, uh, ions you need to have memorized. As you can see in the periodic table, sodium is in group 1. The ionic charge of every element in group 1 of the periodic table is plus 1 because its outer, outermost shell electron, conf, uh, electron configuration is 1. So group 1 element tend to lose this valence electron and obtain the stable electron configuration. So the ionic charge of sodium is 1. Now let's see the position of the chlorine which is our anion in the periodic table. In the periodic table, chlorine is in group 7 which means there are 7 electrons in the outer shell. So group 7 elements tend to gain 1 electron to obtain their nearest stable electron configuration. Therefore, the ionic charge of group 7 element is always minus 1. So, the ionic charge of chlorine is minus 1. The third step is switch the charge numbers and write as subscript. The final step is simplify to the lowest possible ratio and omit 1. Here you can see the ratio is 1 to 1 and our formula we should omit 1. So the chemical formula for sodium chloride is N. A C L. Not that always ionic compounds are chemically neutral. That means all the positive charges are equal to the negative charges. Here the sodium has plus one charge and chlorine has minus one charge. And therefore it is chemically neutral. Let's look at another example aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide shows you the name of the positive charge ion as aluminium and negative charge ion as oxygen. Now we need to identify the charges of aluminium and oxygen. According to the periodic table, aluminium is in group 3. The ionic charge of every element in group 3 of the periodic table is plus 3 because its outermost shell electron configuration is 3. 
So group 3 elements tend to lose this valence electron and obtain the stable electron configuration. So the charge is plus 3 and oxygen is in group 6 which means there are 6 electrons in the outer shell. So group 6 elements tend to gain 2 electrons to obtain their nearest stable electron configuration. Therefore, the ionic charge of group 6 element is always minus 2 because of that extra electrons. So, the ionic charge of oxygen is minus 2. Now, let's switch the number of charges Al2 or 3. So, the chemical formula of aluminium oxide is Al2 or 3. Here, aluminium oxide consists of 2 Al3 plus ions and 3 O2 minus ion. The overall charge of aluminium is plus 6. The overall charge of oxygen is minus 6. So it's chemically neutral because always ionic compounds are chemically neutral. Now let's suppose the chemical formula of calcium oxide. Here the positive ion is calcium and negative ion is oxygen. Now let's find the charge of each element using the periodic table. Calcium is in group 2 and has the plus 2 charge. Oxygen is over here and has the minus 2 charge. So using the crisscross method, it's going to be CA2O2. But the final formula should be simplified to the lowest possible ratio and we can write uh, as calcium oxide CaO. So that's the formula for calcium oxide. Now consider the ionic compounds containing polyatomic ions. Before moving to ionic compounds containing polyatomic ions, we need to know what are polyatomic ions in an ionic compound. The meaning of polyatomic is composed of two or more atoms and ions mean has an overall charge. Here is the list, uh, list of common polyatomic ions you will need to know. You should keep uh, memorizing these uh, common polyatomic ions. Here we are given the compound name as magnesium nitrate. As the first step, we should identify the symbol of our positive ions and negative ions. Magnesium is our positive charge ion and has the symbol Mg. Next, we should identify what nitrate is. Nitrate is our negative ion and its polyatomic ion. So, the nitrate has an overall negative charge. We can check its symbol and charge by using the common polyatomic ion table. We will see that nitrate is NO3 with the overall charge of minus 1. The charge of magnesium is plus 2. The charge of nitrate is minus 1. So by using the crisscross method, we can write the formula as MgNO3 twice. Remember that this 2 is common for the nitrate ion. So we should definitely put a bracket when writing the subscript of the polyatomic ion. Because always we consider whole polyatomic ion as one unit. Let's look at another example, calcium phosphate. The symbol of calcium uh, is Ca and phosphate is PO4-3-. The charge of calcium is plus 2 since it is in group 2 of the periodic table. And the charge of PO4 is minus 3. Then we can switch the charges and write our formula un, uh, unit as Ca3PO4 twice. As you can see, the overall charge of calcium is plus 6 and the overall charge of PO4 is minus 6. So the compound is chemically neutral. Our next example is ammonium sulfate. This ionic compound is somewhat different from previous ones because both positive ions and negative ions are polyatomic ions. Here the positive ion is ammonium and negative ion is sulphate. Uh, 
we can identify the symbol and charge of both polyatomic ions by using the common polyatomic table we will see that ammonia is nh4 with the charge of plus 1 and sulfate is so4 with the charge of minus 2 now the charge of ammonium becomes the subscript of sulfate and charge of sulfate becomes the subscript of ammonium now by using the crisscross method we can write the chemical formula of ammonium sulfate as nh4 twice so4 this is our chemical formula if you enjoyed this video click the like button and share with your friends if you didn't yet subscribe our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell see you with the new video thank you